Hello everyone, a short video here with some satellite imagery shared by CXEMU on Twitter. This shows the before and after of yesterday's storm shadow strike on the Russian Black Sea Fleet headquarters in Crimea. So you can see storm shadow wiped out half of a building. This building has been confirmed as being used by the 744th Communication Centre of the Black Sea Fleet Command. It's part of a larger compound and plays an important role in Russia's Black Sea Fleet operations. As the name suggests, they provide wired, radio and space communications between Black Sea headquarters, formations and fleet units. Only one section of this base was reported hit by a storm shadow. Now, we don't know what exactly was hit here, as in, what the exact purpose of this building was, whether it was a troop barracks, a communications hub where specialists operated, a storage depot, or what. However, we can piece together a few clues. So, this attack did take place during the day, which hints that this was a building where Ukraine knew specialists and important personnel would be. If it was some sort of storage building, they would strike at night. If it was just a barracks, they would strike at night when it would be the most occupied. And also, Ukraine wouldn't waste a storm shadow unless it was considered an important target. So I do think it very likely this building was some sort of operations centre with high value operatives and communication specialists inside. Now, there isn't too much we can tell from the satellite image in regards to the number of storm shadows used as that half of the building is just a wreck now, and the shadows make it hard to tell for sure. But to me, it looks like there are two craters here, indicating two storm shadows were launched and used to level this building. Also, just north of the building, we can see Russia has been working on digging out, or renewing, the old defensive revetments here. Maybe they plan to put some sand defences here in the future, or, it is possible, some systems were here, and they've since been moved out of the way after the storm shadow strike. There's no way of knowing for sure, but we can tell work has gone on here. Also, clock the jagged trench near the top which has been built too. Here's the range from Ukraine, around 300 kilometers. The storm shadow is likely launched from over the Black Sea, which is likely why Ukraine took the Boyka Towers a few weeks ago, to ensure Russia can't have radars there to detect launchers or the possibility of manpad teams being placed there to try and intercept the Su-24s or even the missiles. Now, before we finish, I'm going to play a quick video from the Ukraine Volunteer Center, which is an update on a recent fundraiser that we did. As for this video, that's the end of it. I hope you found it interesting, and thanks very much for watching. Take care, everybody. Good afternoon. Greetings from Ukrainian Volunteer Center. This isn't a rapery and it isn't about good news. Recently we had a fundraising for two Nissans for paramedics and two equipment for soldiers and food for animals in Kherson. We have already bought and transferred food for animals and we have reported about it on our channel. But uh, while we were collecting, unfortunately it appeared that we had needed only one car because it's the war and the time wasn't on our side and we have lost our paramedics during evacuation but the first car has already been bought and soon we, we will have a report about it the same situation is with the soldier equipment the person that we had to give this equipment to is no longer with us. That's why we have ended our fundraising early, because some has changed. We have managed to collect enough money for one car, animals food and one soldier's equipment. For a, for a moment of finishing, the fundraising we had uh, 1500 bucks in the Renmont, so we decided to buy 1000 liters of fuel for the third separated battalion of Ukrainian Volunteer Army Volin. The report about fuel will be on the channel in a few days with info about shot glasses. 
that we have a made. Thank you for your understanding, trust and help. Glory to Ukraine.